Hi there, this is Tank Girl, and today I'm going to do a quick review of the Peak email device. This is a device I unboxed a few weeks ago and I've been using since on and off. Uh, it does only one thing and it's email and uh, it, it uh, kind of seems a little odd for someone like me who's very much a smartphone user to be testing a device that's um, only an email device. But there's something really quite interesting about the minimalistic approach and, and I wanted to try that out and uh, I'm going to give you a quick tour of this this device and uh, let you know what I liked and didn't like about it. Um, to get started, um, I wanted to also mention that I'm going to uh, have a review on my blog about this device to go along with this video, so please take a look at it. It's on uh, Tank Girl Mobile, my blog, TNKGRL wordpress.com so to give you an idea a size comparison I've got an iPhone 3G here and I've got a G1 T-Mobile right here so as you can see the, uh, the peak is pretty small um, and as far as thickness is concerned uh, pretty thin as well uh, it's a little shorter than uh, than the iPhone, maybe a little wider, yeah, but nonetheless, um, it's a lot cheaper, it's $79.95, and so, um, as you can see on the front here, there's a QWERTY keyboard, it's uh, rubberized, and it feels really nice, has a good tactile feedback, and here there's a QVGA screen, that's 2.5 inches across, and on the side here, is a scroll wheel with uh, which is clickable and a button below it and you can uh, navigate by scrolling like this and you can click which brings up a menu and you can scroll down and escape by hitting the back key this is very much like the old blackberries used to be um, and then on the other side uh, here there is a micro USB um, charge port and on the top here there's a power button so that's basically what the device is about underneath here is uh, the battery cover let me just pop that open for you there is a sim card right there battery sim card uh, it says T-Mobile on it but um, this device is a contract free um, pay-as-you-go prepaid type of device it operates on the T-Mobile network but you're only dealing with Peak the company as far as uh, payment and it's $19.95 um, a month for the service which I think is too expensive um, you're only getting email and SMS over email at that price and uh, $79.95 sorry for the device is, is a decent price but I don't think um, the data service is a well priced I, I would think um, somewhere on $7.99 to maybe $9.99 would be my choice maybe even as low as $5.99 a month for this would be fantastic um, so uh, as far as SIM card goes um, I tried different SIM cards from different providers well that is AT&T and T-Mobile I tried uh, prepaid and postpaid uh, with data plans without data plans and none of them worked I always got a cell phone signal which indicates that the radio is unlocked but um, the device couldn't connect to the server that it works with. It's very much like a Blackberry or Sidekick in so far that it connects to a server to provide the functionality. So without the server can't do anything and the only card that would allow me to connect to the server to even register the device in the first place was the card that's provided with it. That card I used on other devices to see if I could get any voice or data support and nothing, nothing at all. So basically so far no, not much luck in that, in that, in that area. Um, what else is there to be said about the hardware? That's pretty much it. It's uh, pretty well put together, um, pretty impressive that way. It obviously doesn't have anything like a camera or speaker or microphone or anything like that. Um, so you basically have to go with 
with um, this concept of basic just email. Now, you know, a lot of you watching and myself are very much geeks that are into, you know, the convergence devices, the smartphones and high-end camera phones and such. And um, it, this device is not for us, but I think it, it does have certain appeal. And I think there are some people out there who are going to enjoy it um, for what it is. Um, so let me just quickly show you basically um, how it works. Um, you have your list of, of messages here in your inbox and you can you know uh, read them by either using the scroll or clicking or you can even go faster by hitting the return key and that brings up the the message um, and then you can go back um, you can also hit the backspace key um, which uh, deletes messages from the list and then uh, you can multiple select um, by pushing the shift key here and scrolling down and then uh, you know you hit delete for example and that deletes the messages or you can um, move them to another folder or you can uh, reply or you can delete uh, this on the menu here um, and then uh, what else was I going to say there is a one menu item at the very bottom here um, which is a configuration menu which allows you to set up the account, set up the ringer, set up the vibrator, um, set up the, the theme and, and all that other stuff. Um, and, but it's, that's basically it. The, the whole interface is based on um, this simple menu that has basically like your choice of boxes, inbox sent, etc, etc. And uh, there's a very crude and simple address book that you can't synchronize with anything. And that's basically what you get. It does memorize the addresses that you're using as you're using them. So it populates the address book for you and you can manage it to some extent. But that's basically it. Um, I find that sometimes the UI is a little laggy. It's not bad right now, but earlier there when I was trying to bring up the settings menu, it was kind of laggy. Um, and also the font's a little too small, I think. If you're just trying at a glance to quickly see something, um, you need some really steady hands to read it. Um, so I wish they would uh, give some font size options and maybe work on the lag. Um, the other thing that's um, not as great as it could be is it only supports three accounts and they have to be POP3. There's no IMAP support. Um, it does support SMSs, text messages, but it, it supports them as email. Basically, you put the phone number in the to field with a certain server address, uh, which I think is just cell.peak.com or something like that, and it sends the messages um, to the proper carrier, which is kind of cool. I'm not sure about receiving text, how that works quite yet, but... Um, there's room for things to get improved. Um, so, you know, that's, that's basically what you're getting. Uh, as I said, I think the data plan is too expensive. Um, you can get um, full, full internet access uh, on a normal phone with that kind of pricing. I realize that it's not necessarily a contract free then, but still, I think uh, something to consider. And the other thing is, uh, you know, it's very limited as far as what it can do. If you're a geek like us, you probably won't enjoy this device. Um, but I think for a lot of people, there's some appeal here and it could be interesting. So yeah, um, check out my blog entry where I talk a little more about setting it up and some of the limitations there. Um, but overall, I, I enjoyed it uh, in a strange kind of way. It was kind of like going back in time, yet with the great keyboard and display, it kind of wasn't. Yeah, so anyway, this is Tank Girl. Check out my blog, tnkgrl.wordpress.com for a full review of this. And um, I'll catch you later. Bye.